Hey everyone, Mike Stoker here with Supervel Ammunition. Today I want to talk to you guys about primers. Now we've made it through 2020, we're now in 2021. And if you're a shooter, you know that the primer crisis is insane. It's hard to find primers, and we've gotten a lot of questions about the differences in primers and what can be used, whether we're loading it or you're loading it for yourself at home. So the three different types I really want to discuss today are small pistol, the standard small pistol, small pistol magnum, and then small rifle primers. We have a lot of shooters out there that are wondering, hey, can I use small pistol magnum? It seems like standard small pistol primers are the hardest to find right now. We've definitely felt it, and I know you guys as shooters have felt it as well. If you're at home loading, you might be wondering, what's the difference between the three? So I wanna talk about a couple of the differences. Standard small pistol primers, realize we have you know, four main US manufacturers between CCI, Federal, Winchester, and Remington. There's stuff being imported from overseas, but it's good to know the data on each of the primers. Sammy has all the detailed, intricate measurements of the primers, and I recommend, if you're interested, going and reading all that. This video is not about the fine-tuned details. This is more so what you can expect as a loader, or if you're sending primers up to us to be loaded as part of our BYOP program. So most commonly the standard small pistol primer, uh, CCI 500. That is what most people are looking for and that seems to be the hardest one to find. So today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up our pressure testing system and I'm gonna compare the three. I'm gonna show you the pressure differences. I'm gonna use all three with the same brass, same powder throw, same bullet, just the difference of primer. We're gonna be using CCI primers for each of the, the three and we'll compare the pressure data to show you guys whether or not it's something to be worried about. Some of the th considerations as a shooter, and this is where most of the questions come in, is is it safe or will my gun fire small rifle primers or small pistol magnum primers in my 9mm ammunition? To me the answer is yes, but I want to show you guys the data and that's what we're going to do. A consideration as a shooter also is light strikes. So the difference between the three, there's many, but the main that are gonna affect you is cup thickness. So small pistol standard being softer than small pistol magnum, which is softer than small rifle. So if you're shooting a Glock with a super light striker spring or a hammer, fo hammer fired gun with the lighter main spring, you run the risk of light strikes on small pistol magnum or small rifle, small rifle being a thicker cup. Now, if there's guys shooting open division, say nine major or 38 super comp, a lot of them are using small rifle primers. You're just making sure that you're not running a super light mainspring for your hammer. Majority guns out the box are gonna run it. We haven't had any issues over the millions of rounds that we've loaded with customers using small pistol magnum or small rifle because a stock gun has enough spring pressure on the firing pin or the hammer to ignite a small rifle primer. An advantage of a small rifle primer, it is a thicker cup, just like small pistol magnum. So on super high pressured pistols, they seem to hold in, in the primer better and you're not gonna blow out the back of the primer. I wanna show you guys the data though, because me talking about it is one thing. I know there's a fear of all you competition shooters out there thinking you're gonna have an excessive spike in pressure or you're gonna gain a lot of velocity if you use small rifle primers. My goal is to get everyone as shooters to have more options. There are small rifle primers and there are small pistol magnums. Now, if you're partaking in our Bring Your Own Primer program, all three of those are suitable. We will load your ammunition. We will not mix it with other primers. Each customer gets what they send in. That is the point. I do not want someone sending small pistol and then getting small rifle if they're running a custom Glock with the light and they have light strikes on the range. That's not the point. So as detailed as we can get, the truth of the matter is, if you know how to load, you know your load data, and you're seating your primers to the right depth, understand your gun setup, your modifications on springs, to know if you're gonna get a light strike or not. We'll get into the data now. Once we finish the pressure testing, we're gonna go out to the range and I'm gonna chronograph the three to show you the differences there. And then we'll end on that and discuss what you can do to keep shooting in 2021. Let's do it. All right, we've got the pressure testing system all set up, ready to go. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do three small pistol standard, three small pistol magnum, and then three small rifle. Now I'm gonna show you guys the data, that way we can compare it. First, obviously eyes and ears.
All right, so there's all nine. I'm gonna bring you guys up. The first shot I think was a fluke, uh, but we'll look at the average of everything. And the number we're looking at is here on the left. So I feel that first one was a fluke, but one through three is small pistol. Four through six is small pistol magnum. And then seven, eight, nine is small rifle. So as you can see, there really is no pressure difference between the three. For reference, SAMI spec for plus P ammunition is 38,500 PSI. So these are all identical loads and they're all in the low 30s within the three. All right guys, we've made it out to the range. We're here to do our chronograph. Today for the gun that we're going to be using to chronograph is a custom carry gun that Atlas Gunworks made for me. It's a four, four and a quarter inch carry, nine millimeter. As far as the springs and everything, it's the same spring setup that they would put in any of their nine mils, whether it's a Hyperion, Artemis, Nemesis, or Athena. Uh, so we're using this to test. We're going to go through all three different primer sets. I'm going to set the camera up so you guys can see um, the actual reading on the chronograph. It's hard to capture myself and the chronograph reading. And we'll go through it and see what we come up with. This is 115 grain small pistol primer. This is 115 grain small pistol magnum. This is 115 small rifle primer. All right guys, testing complete. As you can see within the three primers, the velocity difference is almost negligible. We've shown through the pressure testing that there is no excessive pressure spike within the three primers. The main consideration for you as a shooter is your gun setup, the worry of light primer strikes. I will tell you that almost every stock gun out of the box will fire all three with no problem. If you're modifying springs within the hammer or the striker spring, understand that you might run into light strikes. The best thing that you can do is test your ammunition, set up your own chronograph, and understand the velocity differences. If you're a competition shooter and that velocity is very key point, realize you might gain or lose, but as shown on the chronograph, it's not that much. Um, if you're interested, we do our bring your own primer program. We allow all three of these types of primers to be sent to us. We will load 115 grain or 147 grain competition at a pre-pandemic pricing. There's no gouging here at Superville Ammunition. We wanna do our best that we can to get you guys out on the range in 2021. And I hope this information takes some worry off you if you're thinking about loading small rifle primers or small pistol magnum primers, whether on your bench or sending them to us. It is absolutely doable and there's no risk. So get out there and train, and I hope to see you guys on the range in 2021.